Hello, W4UYE here from SASQ, and today I'm going to be talking about how you can use your ICOM 705 completely wirelessly with WSJTX without the need to buy the expensive ICOM software. I've got a couple tips and pointers for you. I'm going to show you the settings, and hopefully between me and you, we can get this thing worked out for you, and you too can be enjoying the full benefit of using the ICOM 705 wirelessly. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download WF View. If you go to wfview.org, you'll come to this page here. You'll go to the download page, and you'll download whichever release is applicable to your system. In my case, it would be Windows. You're going to download that. Go ahead and download and install. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to etherlogic.com. URL is right here. And you're going to go to downloads. And then you're going to go to whichever of these is applicable to your system. In my case, it's the virtual serial port emulator 64 bit. And you're going to download the virtual serial port emulator and you're going to install that and last you're going to go to vbaudio.com url is right here you're going to go and you're going to install whichever of these is applicable to your system in my case it would be the windows you're going to download and install that now, a note on the VB Audio software. It is not installing an actual program onto your machine. It is installing drivers. So when you install this, once it's installed, it's done. You don't have to go back and mess with anything. It's already on your system, kind of like the ICOM drivers. So go ahead and install this, and then we'll be done with the three things that we need to install to get started. All right, the first thing we need to do is check some things on the 705 to make sure that the, the radio will connect to the computer. So we're going to go to Menu. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the set here, WLAN set. We'll go to that. Go up to the top page. WLAN is on. Connection type is access point. Connect to phone PC. Connection settings, if we go in and look, that just has the ID of the radio and then the password that you set. WLAN uh, inactivity timer, I've got it set for 20 minutes to save on battery. IP address, that doesn't really change. You don't have to modify that. If we go back out, we go down to network. I've got connection settings, access point, network name, IC705. Then we go to remote settings. Remote settings, network control, valid after restart is on, control port is fixed. We're not going to change that. We're not going to change the serial port. We're not changing the audio port. We're going to leave that. Internet access line, valid after restarts, FTTH. That's default. You will go in and establish yourself a username. You'll be using that later. I've got my call sign, a password, and I have it set as network administrator network radio name IC705 we'll leave that and then we'll back out of that now what we want to do is we want to go up to connections All right. if we go to the top we're going to look down here right here this is very important WLAN AFIF output we're going to make sure that output select is AF and AF squelch is on. We're going to go down mod input. This is very important right here. Data off mod. WLAN. We've got that set. Data mod. USB. These levels, it depends on what you've got your radio set as. Mine are set as such. You can certainly copy those if you'd like and it'll probably work for you. Send output. 
nothing changed here that's default send and keying these are all off I didn't do anything with those external keypad it's all off I didn't do anything with those CIV make note of this A4H you'll be using that a little bit later CIV transceiver on CIV USB echo back is off USB function it's off mic is off my, well mic jack 8 volt output is off alright the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the menu and we're gonna go to the preset FT8 okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check that so long press edit preset memory now these settings you can leave these like on uh, this on your radio we'll, we'll go down through there and look mode USB-D filter filter one um, filter bandwidth leave that the same then we got filter type soft filter type soft USB output select AF USB AF output level 50 USB AF squelch is off or open I don't have anything selected for IF output level USB mod level 50 data mod WLAN got SSB TX bandwidth is set there and then you notice these next few things I don't have them they're not checked yours don't need to be checked either see they're not checked so if they're checked uncheck them we do want to put CIV address a make sure it says A4H transceive is unchecked and echo back is off and when you finish making yours look like mine what you want to do is you want to write and it'll give you an option to overwrite that so if you write so question mark yes and it sets it and then you can load that up now you notice once I've got these set like that look right here that little icon right there is illuminated little Wi-Fi symbol surrounded in white that's an indicator that this radio is acting as a port to be po or acting as a station to be connected to the radio. All right, your virtual audio cable should be installed at this point. You should have double clicked that in your installation folder and it would have prompted you to install it. You should have went ahead and installed those drivers. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to open up WFU. When you open up WFU, you notice it doesn't have anything going on, and the reason being, it's not connected to anything. So, what we're going to do is, is we're going to go down here, and we're going to try to connect it to something. So, if we click here, and we go to IC705, your computer should be seeing the IC705. If you click connect, it will connect to the radio. Looky there. Now, you're probably wondering about the settings. We're going to address that right now. So your computer should be connected to the 705. You're not going to see this because you haven't got this part set up yet. So go to your settings screens, and this is how your setting is going to look right here. So on these two first boxes, draw peaks, when turning, set the lower digits to zero. We're going to go ahead and make sure those are selected. And you pick right here. I just have Waterthal Dark Theme selected. I've got this selected right here. The rest of them I just leave open. Looky right here. It says LAN. LAN. You cannot select these. They'll be blank on your screen. You cannot select them until we get the rest of it set up. So don't worry about these. But when they're available, we will select them to LAN. PTT uh, controls, we enable that. You can connect via USB, which we're not doing. We're going to connect wireless. Connect over LAN, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that the address, the IP address of your radio, which is going to be the exact same as this, that is the default. You're going to go ahead and make sure that that is there. Radio control port, we set that up in the radio too. Go ahead and make sure that says the same. Username, 
right there. Put your password to get on your uh, network right there. And these are the what you set up. If you remember where I had just set up an admin user, that's where you put that information. Don't worry about the rest of these. Now, notice right here, it says input. You've got a bunch of different inputs. I've got a lot of them there. Notice I've got VB audio virtual cable. And that's the input. And this is the output right here. You're going to select those. Those should be showing if you installed that VB audio cable driver, like I told you, you should be seeing those. Something else you're going to notice, COM port 10. Well, where did that come from? You probably don't show. Reason being, you may not have set it up yet. So what we're going to do is, is I'm going to open another icon, which is right here on the screen. If you look right there, right, VSPE. If you've installed the port emulator, you've got that icon right there. We're going to double click that. You can get this splat. says license not found. Don't worry about it. Hit no. Notice, I don't have anything set up here. But what I can do is I can create something. So what I can do is, is once you get this screen right here, I'm going to go to the little red star. I'm going to click that. I'm going to create a connector as for my device type. I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to say, I want to create. COM port 10. Now I already had it finished on mine, but we'll do it again. Finish. And you're looking for it to say ready. If you want to be really sure, you can hit that and make sure that you've got the start emulation and it should be making that port now on your machine. So when you open up now, you can select COM port 10. You see 5 and 10. We're going to pick 10. Make sure that's connected. These right here, I've got these set for LPCM, one channel, 8 bit. Don't mess with these controls right here. Sample rate, I didn't mess with those. You should be able to, if I disconnect it, you should be able to hit connect. Make sure that these, once again, are set to land. You should be able to hit connect at that point. When you hit connect, look down here in the corner. You see that you've got data flowing, and it's showing you that this is working. Yours should look the exact same. When you hit that, should be connected to the radio and you should be seeing data. Keep in mind, your radio does need to be in FT8 mode when you do this. It's got to be in the data mode. When you look back, your screen should look like that. So when you get to WFU, you're going to notice that you have a nice waterfall here. All these controls should work on your radio. You can change the level, the volume of the radio, the uh, RF and AF. You can change uh, your squelch level. You can enable or disable your preamp. You know, you've got a good basic set of controls here. It's You're in good shape. If you go here and you're moving these controls, they should be working on your radio. I mean, and if you turn this, if you turn this, uh, you know, uh, turn the VFO, it needs to be moving on your radio. And I'm watching mine right now, and mine, mine's actually doing it on my radio as well. So yours should be moving like that. And this should, uh, this should get you where you need to be. As far as control, remote control of the radio, which is the whole point of the WFU program, is to give you that remote control. Once you've got this done, we have about 90% of this knocked out. All right. So now that you've now that you've had you've got WFU on, it should be up and running, just like this is right here, with those settings. If you've got everything set up, you've got these indicators down here showing that you're transferring data back and forth. This should be running. Your port emulator definitely needs to be running. We don't have to worry about the other port emulator because, like I said, it's a driver that if you get this far, it's working. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to do WSJTX. So I'm going to give it a double click. And we're going to go ahead and have a look at this and see what's going on with it. So right now, looks red. That's because I had it connected to my ICOM 7300 earlier. So now what we're going to do is, is we're going to go, we're going to change that configuration. So look, notice I've got one that says wireless, right? ICOM 705 wireless because I've already set it up. You're going to click that. Or you're going to click that. I'll show you what you're changing to because, well, you don't know yet. So we'll go ahead and we're going to end that. It boots back up. Now I just heard my radio tick. And so I know it's connected to it. I'm out of range, but we'll go ahead and we'll move that over. So let's move over to... Uh, 
I said about 20 meter. And I can hear the telltale. You can hear it. It just swapped over on my radio. So let's look at the settings so that we can get you there. So if we look at the, the configurations, or I'm sorry, the settings, we're going to go in and we're going to look. I'm going to drag them over here. Okay. So what we're going to do is let's look at, I got it set for the rig, ICOM 705. I got COM port 10. You remember COM port 10? That is where I set up the virtual port emulator is set up on 10. So I've got that there. Baud rate. I've got it set at 115, 200. Data bits, 8. Stop bits, 1. Handshake, none. The force control lines are both blank. PTT method I have set to cat. This doesn't apply. Mode, data packet, split operation, none. Go to your audio tab. Make sure that you've selected that VB audio virtual cable that you installed. Make sure that you selected it. Set to mono. When you go back, you're going to test your cat. It says cat is good to go. Then you're going to go and you're going to test your PTT. PTT was good to go. So we're set. And as you notice, I've got... I've got uh, information coming in on my screen here, so I can see. I'm picking up all these signals, right? And if I go and I double click, the radio is trying to communicate via WSJTX. It's got the radio keyed right now, sending out the signal to communicate. So, and it will work. So that's how we get it set up. It will take some tinkering because when you get to this right here, you may have to change a couple of these settings. Like on one of my one of my computers, for some reason, it likes default right here instead of none. And then I've got another one. I've got it set for data packet, but I've got another one where it likes none right here and this. So you may have to tinker with those a little bit. But generally, those settings should be correct. that helps you out a little bit if you got any questions you can of course write them to me i'll try to get back with you with some answers it's not a difficult process it does take a little bit of tinkering but i'm certain that you can get it worked out with a little bit of experimentation on your own anyway thank you for joining me today this is whiskey for uniform yankee echo and i'll be clear on your final <laughs>